Staying Strong, Healthy, and Youthful. By subscribing, liking, and ringing, you can greatly support our channel and help us produce more content that you'll love. Hello and welcome to the Longevity Lifestyle YouTube channel. In this video, we'll be talking about what HbA1c is, how it is measured, and its significance in diabetes management. Diabetes is a chronic metabolic disorder that affects millions of people worldwide. It is characterized by high blood glucose levels, which can lead to a variety of complications if left untreated. To manage diabetes, it is essential to monitor blood glucose levels regularly. One of the most commonly used tests to monitor blood glucose levels is the HbA1c test. What is HbA1c? HbA1c, also known as glycated hemoglobin, is a type of hemoglobin found in red blood cells. Hemoglobin is a protein in red blood cells that carries oxygen to various parts of the body. When glucose in the blood attaches to hemoglobin, it forms glycated hemoglobin or HbA1c. The level of HbA1c in the blood reflects the average blood glucose level over the past two to three months. How is HbA1c measured? HbA1c is measured through a blood test that involves taking a sample of blood from a vein in the arm. The blood sample is then sent to a laboratory for analysis. The test is typically done every three to six months, depending on the individual's diabetes management plan. The HbA1c test measures the percentage of glycated hemoglobin in the blood. The result is given as a percentage of total hemoglobin, with a normal range of 4% to 5.6%. The American Diabetes Association recommends an HbA1c target of less than 7% for most adults with diabetes. What factors can affect HbA1c levels? Blood glucose levels The higher the blood glucose levels, the higher the HbA1c levels. Conversely, lower blood glucose levels result in lower HbA1c levels. Red blood cell lifespan Red blood cells have a lifespan of around 3 months. If the lifespan is shorter, as in some medical conditions, HbA1c levels may be lower than expected. Conversely, if the lifespan is longer, HbA1c levels may be higher than expected. Anemia a condition where there are fewer red blood cells than normal, can lead to lower HbA1c levels. This is because there are fewer red blood cells for glucose to attach to. Certain medical conditions such as kidney disease, liver disease, and sickle cell anemia, can affect HbA1c levels. Medications, such as steroids, can also affect HbA1c levels. Ethnicity Some studies suggest that people of certain ethnicities, such as African Americans and Hispanics, may have higher HbA1c levels than Caucasians. Pregnancy During pregnancy, HbA1c levels may be lower than expected due to increased red blood cell turnover. What are the benefits of monitoring HbA1c levels? Monitoring HbA1c levels has several benefits in diabetes management, including Evaluating the effectiveness of diabetes management Regular monitoring of HbA1c levels can help evaluate the effectiveness of diabetes management. If HbA1c levels are consistently high, it may indicate that changes are needed in the individual's diabetes management plan such as adjusting medication dosages or making dietary changes. Predicting the risk of complications High HbA1c levels are associated with an increased risk of diabetes-related complications, such as nerve damage, kidney damage, and eye damage. By monitoring HbA1c levels, individuals with diabetes can take steps to reduce their risk of complications by improving their blood glucose control. Motivating individuals with diabetes to make lifestyle changes Regular monitoring of HbA1c levels can serve as motivation for individuals with diabetes to make lifestyle changes to improve their blood glucose control. Seeing improvements in HbA1c levels can be a powerful motivator for individuals to continue making healthy lifestyle changes. Providing insight into individual blood glucose patterns HbA1c levels provide insight into an individual's blood glucose patterns over time. By examining trends in HbA1c levels, individuals and healthcare providers can identify patterns in blood glucose control and adjust diabetes management plans accordingly. Monitoring progress during pregnancy for pregnant individuals with diabetes, monitoring HbA1c levels is essential for ensuring a healthy pregnancy. High HbA1c levels during pregnancy can increase the risk of complications, such as preeclampsia and birth defects. 
Regular monitoring of HbA1c levels can help individuals and healthcare providers take steps to reduce the risk of these complications. Conclusion HbA1c is an important test for monitoring blood glucose control in individuals with diabetes. By providing an average of blood glucose levels over the past two to three months, HbA1c levels can provide valuable information for evaluating the effectiveness of diabetes management, predicting the risk of complications, and providing insight into individual blood glucose patterns. Regular monitoring of HbA1c levels is essential for individuals with diabetes to maintain good blood glucose control and reduce the risk of diabetes-related complications. Thank you for watching and we hope this video has been informative and helpful. I recommend that you watch all the videos I upload from the beginning to gain a comprehensive understanding of the topics covered. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel for more videos on health and wellness. See you in the next one.